Hello from the Cross family. I'm excited to show you today uh, activity section of the Family Search website. And so if you click up here on the activities column, you can pull up the first one we're going to look at, which is where am I from? And this one has some really cool features to it that are, are a lot more interesting than you might might think at first. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look at these uh, the column at the bottom here where it says number of generations. So if you want, you can toggle this to look at, you know, further generations back and see uh, information you want to narrow down to a specific time range. And then right above that is some tabs here that say all ancestors, converts, and immigrants. So I'm going to start with the immigrant uh, tab there and click that. This is now showing me, instead of showing me all my ancestors, where they're from, it's showing me specific ancestors who've moved around during their lifetime. So if I sc scroll on here and zoom in here in this area of uh, Europe, for example, I can see this woman here, Anna House, and she is my uh, great great grandmother, and she moved from during her lifetime between uh, Galicia over to Hamburg, where she died. And basically, this is all different countries back then, but this just this just shows kind of the path that she went through her life to get from one place to another. So this is kind of a fun way to explore um, what happened during your ancestors' lives. Now, if I go back to this middle tab where it says converts, that's also fun. Now, for me, there's not a whole lot, you see. It's a lot more uh, full of people in my uh, daughter's line because she has my wife's line on it as well. But in mine, there's just a couple here if you go back three generations. So it looks like these are the, the first members of, of the church in my family, um, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So this was kind of fun to explore because this one here of Pearly Mae Drake, I was not aware that she actually got baptized during her lifetime. So that was kind of neat to discover. So if I click on here, I can go through and on the far right there, click on ordinances. I can see that she was baptized in 1965. And then after, uh, after she died, her family took her name to the temple as well. So that's pretty neat. I didn't know that about her. And the other columns here, we can look through any uh, photos and stuff people have uploaded for them. And we can see some uh, cool pictures of how neat she was and, and my uh, great-grandfather Oscar as well. So pretty, pretty cool pictures. And uh, explore that with your uh, family members. Highly recommend it.